Hey, this is Jason with 4W Knives. Today we're taking this leaf spring and we are turning it into an apocalyptic machete slash chopper. Uh, first thing we need to do is we're going to cut so we can take this hole out. And just to make sure I have enough length, I'm going to cut a little section of this out uh, for the handle. And then we'll do a little bit of forging on the roller mill and a little bit of forging on the anvil. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, so we've got it stretched out. It's down to just over a quarter of an inch. By the time we get some of the scale off, it will be uh, probably around that 0 0.20, maybe a little less. Uh, we are at right around 24 inches to the tip, which is plenty. You notice I ended up cutting off the uh, extra piece there for the handle. It was another good three inches, so uh, Rowan Mill did its job. And we're going to clean it up and get our knife design on. As you see, I uh, decided to do stock removal. I just didn't have enough time for this project. That's why I'm doing the leaf spring and nothing overly creative. Uh, I needed a machete type instrument for around the house, so I went with this. So a bit of a cop out. Uh, hopefully the video is still worth your time watching it. Uh, but I just couldn't uh, spend the time needed to do anything extravagant with uh, Damascus or anything like that. And uh, forging something this big out would have taken a lot longer than the time that I had available. And what do you do when you don't have time to forge it out? You make it look like you forged it out by adding in texturing. So I know a little bit of a cop out, but oh well.
All right, so here we are. Got the holes drilled, put some uh, weight reducing uh, holes in it. Got it marked for my bevels. Uh, the plan is to come up to right about here and then this part will be a full flat grind with a false edge at the top. So that's kind of what the image I have. Uh, it's gonna be pretty tricky. I'm not, uh, I haven't done a lot of recurves. So we'll see. I, I may uh, tear it up, but uh, hopefully not. So anyways, here we go. All right, so I thought I'd show where we're at right now. It is to a, about a 400 grit on a, a Trizac belt. I'm gonna leave this the way it is. Uh, I think what I'll do after I get the handle on, I will come back in with the conditioning belts and put that finish on it. It should be a fat, satin finish and that'll get rid of any of the the odd color here. Uh, I'll tell you one issue I had was this part of the blade. It was extremely hard to get it down close to a zero edge. I don't know how close you can see that. I didn't want it to be sharp, but I wanted it to be pretty close. That was a challenge, uh, but we got it down pretty good now. It, it took a while. Uh, I need to put my maker's mark on it and we need to get handle material. And I think handle material wise, I'm going to go with a block of walnut that I've got if it's big enough. So we'll take a look and see. Well, the piece of walnut wasn't quite long enough. So have to scratch that. Uh, I do have this piece of red oak. So that's what we're going to use. Not be my ideal pick, but I think it'll work. Decided to go for a Coke bottle shape for the handle, and I wanted to have a pretty big flare at the end to make sure it didn't slip out of somebody's hand.
and the projector's done. Got it good and sharp, and it's comfortable in the hand. Not my hand. That is my wife's hand, who does my photography. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and uh, I hope this wasn't too much of a bore. And uh, next challenge, I'll make sure that I do a better project.